let's have a little lesson on this piece by Kelvi. Um, if you have this piece in another book, it's in a quite a few books, um, you can just follow along with the video, or if you just want to watch the video and pick up some tips on playing ornaments and just playing this piece or new pieces, uh, by all means. But if you want the music, it's part of my Volume 2 Easy Classical Guitar. There's a link for that underneath the video. So, um, pretty straightforward piece overall. It's in second position, so that's kind of lining your fingers up in this area of the guitar, making sure your, your thumb is there too, you're not outreaching, so you're just in that area. You can warm up with some second position playing if you wish. Um, the majority of it is in second position, but um, very strong sense of the melody. In fact, most of the bass notes and accompaniment notes are just open strings and things like that, so playing the melody on its own would be a great first step. Maybe just up to the D. So um, making sure that you have some nice, like a nice rhythmic feel. Um, it's in cut time, so it would be like to here, 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 here. So just nice two strong beats per bar. Very relaxing feeling, even though it's it's a little bit quick. Um, making sure that you phrase that melody really nicely and you shape it and that your motifs are really clear. It's, it's in these little groups of eighth notes and quarters, but making sure it all sounds really smooth. When you get to the cadences, soften up after you arrive at your primary note here, all this stuff afterwards, this, just really taper that off, almost make it disappear. And then ease in again. when you arrive at the end of your phrase. Um, practice it without the ornaments first, making sure your rhythm is nice and strong. You can use a metronome if you like, um, and that you're nice and legato and you're phrasing nicely. And then once the piece feels really secure, you can add these ornaments in afterwards. The piece is actually super short. It's only really um, eight bars long. Um, I've written it out here with repeats and then thrown some ornaments, um, suggestions for ornaments. I've used the trill symbol the whole time, but you can use any ornament that you like. Um, the, no ornamentation is in, in the original. And sometimes in this um, era, there are some um, ornaments in the original, but this one's pretty straightforward in the original tablature. So I'll do a walkthrough of the piece and then I'll just mention what I did in the video for ornaments, but if you feel like exploring uh, more options, by all means. Um, right hand fingering, really straightforward. Just alternate fingers as much as possible. Thumb for the bass voice. That's it. So just make sure that you're playing in second position. You're not reaching out. You have everything aligned. You have this knuckle is over here so that you can easily grab those notes. I changed to first position there. That way we can just end up with this little chord here. Start again. I do a little um, F sharp, G, F sharp. So F sharp, G, F sharp. So hammer on, pull off. Because the note comes from above, I'm doing there. And then in the video, I think I did, um, I did like a little suspension here or a, a progettura. So just an eighth note, I go G, F, E, F, D, F sharp, of course. You could just do a, a trill there if you like. I just did it. That one is E, F sharp, E. Second half. In first position here because of some of the chords. Then second position. You just have to keep track of of the fingering. It's all, it's listed on the page, so you just follow it. For ornaments here, you could do B, C sharp, B. Just hammer on, pull off. That one's C sharp, D, C sharp. F sharp, G, F sharp. And I think in the video, I can't remember, but I think I did a, another there. You know, just G, F, E, D, and 
then E, F sharp, E. So the thing about ornaments is that you can do whatever you want. You can improvise it almost once you get used to it. There is like a um, historical context for these things. So you can't just do like anything, but keep it nice and simple for now. This is an easy collection. And um, especially if you're on the beginner side, just do what I did in the video or leave it out completely. This music sounds wonderful without ornamentation. So you don't have to use ornaments. And, but if you feel like adding some of the easy ones in, just by all means, go for it. A um, very straightforward piece, um, but it has a has a real charm of its own, a kind of a simple charm in its kind of um, melodic dance. So, I hope you enjoy that one.